Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com, bringing you a dry fly pattern today. It's a CDC Never Sink Caddis. It's a modern twist on an old pattern, and I think you're really going to like it. So let's get into tying it right now. Here you're going to see a picture of the fly, then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the CDC Never Sink Caddis in the vise. Very buggy, very cool pattern. Let's get into tying it. For a hook on this one, I'm going to tie it on a size 14. This is a 315 fire hole. Any caddis hook will work here. Um, tie, definitely tie it smaller. This is a little on the big size. For thread, I'm using some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is uh, black. Just going to start that on there and wrap it back towards the bend there. Then I'm going to put the body on this. For the body, I'm using some two millimeter foam and I'm cutting it in like a football shape here. You can see football, tombstone, whatever shape you want to call it there. I'm making it 3 16 of an inch wide and about a half inch long for this size 14. And then I'm going to sit it on top here about an eye length behind the eye and tie that down. I'm going to make a couple softer wraps and then tie it tight. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to kind of pull this a little bit, stretch it out a little bit. I don't want it to go around the bend of the hook. I want it to go straight with that eye as you see there. So that's pretty good. I like that. It's going to leave a nice hook gap. You're going to get good hookups with this fly. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put on a little bit of CDC for an underwing here. And I'm just going to find a nice CDC. This is uh, CDC from Fooling Mills. This is natural gray. And I'm just going to find a nice long one here that's pretty full. And we're going to lay that right on top of that foam. And I want it to extend just a tad, not much, but just a tad bit past that foam body. And get that tied on there. That's going to create a little bit of an underwing before we tie our deer hair on. Now... I'm going to set this aside, I'm going to use this big long feather here like this, I'm going to use this later whenever I spin my collar on. Next thing I'm going to do, use some spinning here, spinning deer hair, this is brown. I'm just going to take a little bit, put it in my hair stacker, get the tips all lined up like that, and uh, this is going to create our wing. This is going to make it, help make it unsinkable. So, get them all lined up, straight tips. And I'm going to set it right on top. And I want it to go just the same length as that CDC. And then we're going to pinch it down. We're going to make a couple nice tight wraps. And then pull tight on it. And then as I pull tight, to help lock it in place, I'm just going to, a couple hairs at a time, just wrap this into that hook. And then wrap it back through. And that's going to lock it in place so it's not going to spin around. Once I get that done, I'm going to grab all those fibers, pull them all together, and we're going to trim them off real close to the hook shank. I'm just going to get my scissors in there, cut it right off as close as I can, and then we're going to wrap this down and create a nice taper here. Okay, now we got our deer hair wing on there. Now I'm going to come in, dress this up a little bit. i got a straggler down here I don't like. There we go. Now I'm going to dress this up a little bit and I'm going to add wings to this fly and I'm going to take two more dark ones. I want dark ones here for the wings. I'm going to put one down each side. So I'm going to put it closest to me here first. So that's on my side and this is going to give us that tent wing effect that a caddis has. And then I put one on the other side. And again, just going to make it more floatable. Anytime I use CDC, I'm using high and dry floating, my favorite floating for CDC. Cut these off, and again, I'm going to save these for my collars. Now, I'm going to strip these out, and I'm going to put two of them back to back. I, you can use just one if it's a nice full one like this, but I'm going to put two of them back to back. 
put it in my um, CDC multi-tool here, or my clamp, and you can see how I got a nice patch of them built up there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dubbing loop. I'm just going to make a nice dubbing loop here, and we're going to do the last step of this fly, which is putting on that CDC collar, and this is really going to help it float a lot too. So I'm using my CDC multi-tool here, making a nice dubbing loop with it, put my fibers in, and then I just want to push them out as close as I can to get them out there by the thread. I don't want them sticking out too long like I got a couple right there. And then once I got them as close to the thread as I can, put my finger behind it. Give my tool a twist, they'll spin right out. And then I'm gonna wrap my collar forward. I wanna get that right back there to those other CDC fibers, my wing fibers. And as I wrap every wrap, I'm gonna pull this collar backwards to get everything going the direction I want. Get that right up there behind the eye and tie it off. Now, just peel everything back, make a nice tight head on here. And we're going to be done. Just the last step we're going to do is just trim everything up, make sure we like it, make sure that uh, it's riding on the center of our hook where we like it, which is good. If you have any long ones, I prefer to pick them off with my fingers. I don't, I like it to go just the length. And then I like to trim off a couple on the bottom here. I don't want it too buggy on the bottom. I want it to ride flat on the water like that. And there you go, the CDC never sink. Okay guys, I hope you like this pattern. It's a great pattern that floats really well. Uh, like I said in my tying video there, whenever I use CDC, I always use high and dry floatant. Um, it just works better than anything else. Uh, for CDC, you just put a little dab on your finger and brush the fly into it. Don't soak floatant into CDC or it'll sink like a rock. Um, this thing's going to float well for you and catch a lot of fish. Like I said, this is a twist on an old pattern. The Never Sink Caddis, is a, it's a great pattern. But I wanted to modernize it a little bit. I like CDC. It just looks natural. This has great natural colors and everything. So 90% of my dry flies, if you look at my dry fly box, I have cat skills and stuff in there. But 90% of the time when I'm throwing a dry fly, I'm throwing a caddis. That's what's prevalent in my area. There's always caddis. And actually when this video is dropping, I'm actually giving a seminar out in the Philly area right at the same time doing a caddis demonstration. Uh, we have a ton of caddis in our area and I think they're overlooked and it's what I fish the most because I do a lot of Euro nymphing, I do a lot of dry dropper and caddis patterns just work great for dry dropper. Easy to see, float well, hold up a big, you know, hold up a decent sized nymph. So they work great for dry dropper. Anyways guys, if you need any of these flies or any of the material, you can find them at our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. If you need me to tie you some of these, please reach out to me personally at my email address, wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. Uh, I do custom tying here. It's a little bit tough right now. Trout season comes in. I also guide. So if you're looking for a guide in the central Pennsylvania area, wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com too. Uh, love to take you guys out fishing with me. So. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy these, please give me the thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, thanks for watching and supporting our channel. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.